Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a discussion about the 2021 summer season of anime. Today, we'll be discussing about the Ititen Deities Only Know Peace. This one is quite odd. And I will just say now, I did not actually cover it in my first, like, initial impressions uh, video because it came out quite late uh, in the season. I think it came out like a full week or two later than some of the other ones did. Um, but anyway, it started on July 23rd and ended on September 28th with 11 episodes. Um, definitely feel like they could have put 12 in there. Could have just put 12 because uh, it ended quite poorly. Uh, but let me go ahead and talk to you about what the show's about first, because we never covered it in the first place. Um, so this one is an interesting premise. It's about a world where demons ravaged the world, uh, mankind was on the brink of extinction, and mankind prayed to their gods, calling for someone to save them, and out of their prayers, these god beings known as Ititen uh, were created. Um, they possessed a critical amount of strength and endurance, and the Ititen essentially wiped out all of demon kind, sealed them away in this, like, other dimensional portal kind of thing. And uh, most of the Ititen as well, like, got sacrificed to do that, leaving only one behind. Uh, her name is Rin. And essentially, it goes from that, 800 years in the future, with Rin having gone from, like, a crybaby kid to... Well, she's still, like, a, this looks the same because she's a god, but she's, like, a hardened, like, tough-as-nails fucking, like, uh, god now. She uh, is really strong. She's been training these 800 years, and there's a number of other Ititen who have manifested from the world that she's helped to train and all that kind of stuff, and there's, there's a couple of them and whatnot. Anyway, the basic premise of it is the Ititen fighting the demons. Um, in the first episode we find out that the demons are back um, and that they are, you know, doing some shady shit in the world. And so the Ititan begin to investigate it and all that kind of stuff. Um, and kind of go from there. Eventually they, you know, fight them and stuff happens, and yada, yada, yada. Really, uh, I was not expecting it, to be honest. I was like, Oh, it's a, a cartoony looking colorful show. It's going to be, you know, just like fights and like, ha ha, uh, we really showed those demons, ha. Huh? And then they raped a nun in the first episode. And I was like, ah, okay. Okay. Well, goddamn. And then it kept getting like bloody and gory and rapey and shit was going down in the show. I'll throw that out there. Um, it was interesting. For the most part, the journey that I went on. And it's definitely something I'm not going to rewatch ever, I don't think. And like I said at the beginning, I definitely could have used a 12th episode because episode 11 just ended like abruptly, like in the middle of like stuff going down. Um, it reminds me of the, uh, the ending. The final episode of So I'm, I'm a Spider, So What? Uh, where they were like in the middle of this huge conflict. And then it just like ends. And it's like, ha, see you next season if there is one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I'm hoping that they decide to make a second season of the It Attend Deities No Peace. Because uh, I would like to see what the hell happens. Uh, because they go from having an advantage to having a disadvantage to having advantage again having a disadvantage again. Um, it's not really an advantage because they're the Ititan are OP as hell, but only like one of them is really strong. Well, I guess there's like two that are really strong and then like a third one that's kind of okay. And then the rest of them are just like weak. And the thing with the Ititan is as long as they're not like completely and utterly like obliterated into atoms or something like that, they can like recover. So like if they get their arm chopped off, it'll hurt them a little bit, but they'll grow it back. If their heart gets ripped out, well, they'll just grow that back, too. If their head gets cut off, they'll just regrow their body on the head. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't matter how many pieces they're chopped up into and anything like that. If they're burned or all that shit. As long as there's, like, something remaining, uh, apparently they can recover from it. 
So they're basically immortal. Whereas the demons, they're basically humans, but demons. Uh, and the demons are like huge hulking creatures, but later on they get like humanoid bodies um, and stuff like that. And so basically <laughs> you shoot them in the head, they're dead. Or uh, you take out their heart, they're dead. Or you inflict enough trauma, they're dead. Uh, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I, I was expecting to go a different route by the way that certain characters acted in the beginning. I was expecting one of the characters to become bad, but he didn't become bad. And, uh, yeah. It was uh, kind of a weird thing, to be honest. I don't know. The way that things went really were kind of weird to me, man. But I, I don't know. It's a, it's a show. You can watch it. Uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say about it because it was just kind of kind of weird and uh, interesting. It's kind of interesting that's just like, I want to see what happens next. But not the kind of good that's like, I want to rewatch this, you know? Um, but yeah, that's all for me, everyone, on this episode. The final anime we're going to be talking about is Higurashi. That's going to happen later. <laughs> I don't know exactly when. I think Higurashi is out on... It's Wednesday, Thursday, I think. So it'll definitely be like right after this uh, video. So tomorrow, Higurashi is going up. And then we're done. And then we're done with everything uh, for this season. And then next season's coming out. There's some pretty hype shit in there. And uh, definitely check out all that. So until next time, bye for now.